In this Alibria Atom 3D video, we're going to be talking about how to set the default units that you work in when you design something. To do that, we're going to go to the Alibria Atom 3D home window, and we're going to click on a new part workspace. Now we're going to go to the top left, click on the gem, and we're going to click on the properties button at the bottom. Next, we're going to navigate to the unit section on the general word. And here we can see the different unit and mass options that we have available to us. So the first thing that we'll cover is mass. Uh, you may run several different kinds of analyses. Uh, for example, you can ask Calibre Atom 3D, how much does my part weigh? And it's going to show you that in kilograms, grams, or pounds. So depending on your preference, you can select that here. We're going to leave it on kilograms. And then the next thing is the length units. So as you enter dimensions, in the software, you know, whatever units that it's expecting. Um, depending on where you live, you're going to either choose a metric or the uh, imperial system. So um, you can choose whatever option suits you best here. And in certain kinds of things, for example, woodworking, perhaps you'll want to use a feet and inches uh, section. And uh, if you do that, you can choose a format uh, fractions, which may um, you know, make your woodworking designs a little bit easier. Um, but generally speaking, you'll, you'll choose probably inches or centimeters or millimeters, and you'll leave it on decimal. Uh, and you can choose the precision here for uh, what you want the dimensions, the, the visual display to look like. Um, so this does not affect how precise the models actually are. What this does affect is uh, what the dimensions are displayed to you as. So for example, if I have a dimension of 3.275 and I have a precision of 1, that dimension is going to display 3.2. If I have a precision of 6, it's going to display 3.275000. So, uh, you know, most people, probably 3 is pretty good. Um, and if you find that you would like to uh, be able to view more of or less of a dimension, you can change that here. So we, we've set this the way that we want it. And if we click apply, what this is going to do is apply this only to whatever workspace that we're in. Because the properties dialog, this is a file properties. It's, it's specific to the particular file that we're working on. But we want this to apply to every new part that we make. So we're going to set the current settings as the default settings for all of our other designs. Click that down here. And now once we change this by clicking apply, anytime we open a new, uh, a new assembly or a new part, these settings will be there for us and we won't have to change them repeatedly.